Welcome back to Nights at Fringe, another episode and some fantastic Fringe artists. And Nights at Fringe first as we're joined by three wonderful performers. We're going to do an elevated pitch first of all uh, and then we'll get into a bit of a chat. So, if you would like to elevate your pitch to this yes, camera here, certainly. whenever you're ready. Great. Uh, hi guys. Yas Queen is a show that talks about brown issues, talks about queer issues, talks about feminism, women, uh, being a millennial. It's really the wokest comedy that you will ever <laughs> see. So come and watch us. Superbly on 10 seconds. Well done indeed. <laughs> Great pitch. Thank now, you. Obviously, it's a, a it's a ticking all the boxes kind of show. How yes. has that come about? Ariel, how, how has this show come about? So it sort of came about, we all wanted to write sketch comedy and share our experiences that um, in ways that made people laugh and made people just feel a bit more relaxed and therefore able to take it on. So we've written a bunch of satirical, funny comedy sketches based on our issues of being people of colour, being queer, being women, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just being millennial sometimes yes. even as well. All yes. of your Yas Queen performers yes. are in their own right. Agreed. How's it, how's it come that you've brought all these people together? What was that process yeah. like? Yeah, so mm. I, what happened was I wanted to do sketch comedy for such a long time, right? And I just kept putting it off. I was too scared, right? And it was my birthday, I turned 27, and I was like, stuff this, I'm gonna do it. So I did what every good millennial does and made an announcement on Facebook. Yep. And I said, I'm gonna yep. do this show, this is what I'm thinking. It was very rough, and I was like, if you wanna be a part of it, DM me, slide into my DMs. <laughs> um, and I actually got a lot of people, a lot of people were sliding into my DMs, and it was a bit like, oh, who Not am I saying? Not all of them were for you, ask Queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, irrelevant. Uh, I appreciated them nonetheless. Anyway, so, um, and then I went through that kind of vetting process, and the main thing I was looking for was commitment, really. And it's surprising how many people want to be part of a project, but can't commit. So we ended up with the core four of people who were committed, people who cared about these issues, and that's how the crew formed. Amr, are you one of the people that was uh, was committed, got the yeah. call up? How's yeah. it been uh, working with, with the four? Oh, it's great, because uh, me and Jaleesa, like, we were in OTH together doing improv, and we would always talk about like brown issues and all this stuff, mm -hmm. and both doing like stand-up comedy yes. at one point. Yeah. And like would always write jokes and she was the one telling us like, yeah, I want to do a sketch show, I want to do a sketch I was like, yeah, you should do it. Yeah. Or something along those lines. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but yeah, we were just talking, I was like, yeah, like, and then she made the announcement. I was like, I'm on board, mm -hmm. tell me when and where, what you need. And here we are today. Yas Queen, bit of a party. Yes. Who yes. are we hoping to see in the audience? I would love it if Mark McGowan would come. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I'm ambitious. I think he should see the community that he's representing. Yeah. It's not just white people, it's not just straight people, it's not just cisgender people. We wrote all these sketches yeah. for people like us and people with yeah. our same similar experiences and it'll be really great to be able to, um, to have people that can look at us on stage and go, ah, uh, I, I feel seen, I feel heard. Are there anything that we could do together to kind of show off a bit of a, a performance warm-up? Yeah, sure. What, what, do we want to do a vocal warm-up? Yeah, I think a good, nice big vocal warm-up to get the lungs working. Yeah, all right. Mm. Yeah, would you join us? Um, I'm super pumped for a vocal warm-up. Yeah, right. my vocals have been, uh, yeah, they're kind of Yeah, I need to warm them up. All, All right, right, cool. Would you like to go through uh, Badaga? Badaga? Badaga. Badaga. Okay. So okay. it's three words. Yep. Ba, mm -hmm. da, and ga. So it's very simple. And what you need to do is it just loosens the tongue up. And so you just look at each other and go, Badaga. 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 And then as you go around the circle, you keep going faster and faster. Badaga. 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 A couple of dates at the end of Jan and the 13th of Feb. We're going to be seeing them here rocking their thing yes. um, very shortly. Thanks so much for joining us here at Nights of Fringe. Thank, Thank you for having us. us.